I've got the GBL 36 for a couple of weeks now and I really like it. So what's new? How does it sound? And should you get one? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Adrian here and welcome to the Unboxed. So let's start with the design. In terms of dimensions, it's 178 by 68 by 72 millimeters. So it's about the same as the Flip 5. It weighs around 500 grams, so you can easily put it in a bag and take it with you. The biggest change is the JBL logo, which now looks more modern and slick. It has less plastic around this area and it has a piece of rubber to keep it in a position where you can see the logo and hear it properly. Around this area it has the power and Bluetooth buttons as well. Because it has less plastic, they had to connect this mesh somehow and we have this line here. As you can see, it still has the USB-C port which now will alert you in case you have something inside when you want to charge it so it won't damage the speaker. You can also see the battery level here. Another thing that has been improved is the strap. It has this small thing that makes it look more modern. The play, volume and party boost buttons layout is the same as the Flip 5. On the drivers we get a similar but slightly different logo which is the same on both sides. Around the drivers it has rubber now and it's more soft. If you drop it from a significant height like 3 or 4 meters, which probably will never happen, that rubber will break. Most of the new design features are taken from the GBL Charge 5. But that's no surprise, it's an updated design that looks better, so they've stuck with it. Let's quickly check the colors that we get on Amazon. So we have white, black, green, pink, aqua green, blue, camouflage, grey and red. We do get IP67 now instead of IPX7 like the previous ones. This means that apart from it being waterproof and able to be submerged in water up to 1 meter and up to 13 minutes, it is also fully dustproof. We also get Bluetooth 5.1 with the GBL Flip 6, which makes it more future-proof and it also gives you a distance of about 40 meters from the source until you lose the signal. I also like that you can connect two different devices with it, so you can play from a laptop, you can play from a phone or two different phones, not at the same time though. While we're talking about connectivity, another thing to mention is Party Boost. You can connect up to 100 speakers with Party Boost, which sounds awesome. In reality, nobody has the money to burn on 100 speakers to connect together. That would be a cool video though. Also, how long would it take to connect all of them? Anyway, this Party Boost is not compatible with the old Connect Plus, which means your old speakers like JBL Flip 4 or 3 won't be able to connect to Flip 5 or 6 or other Party Boost compatible speakers. Now let's get to my favorite part, the sound. So the JBL Flip 6 has a racetrack shaped driver of 20 watts and an added tweeter of 10 watts with a total output being 30 watts. You also get the JBL app, which lets you tweak the treble, middle and the bass. These settings work on the JBL Flip 6 and with a new firmware update on the Charge 5 as well. With the app you also get product info, updates on the speaker and also some other settings that you can tweak. I did test a bit the equalizer when I first unboxed the JBL Flip 6 but my first impressions were not that great. You can check the JBL Flip 6 unboxing right here if you want to. I will let you decide for yourself whether or not you like how it sounds with the equalizer settings changed, so definitely let me know in the comments below which one you like best. Now let's see how the JBL Flip 6 sounds at different volume levels and also at different settings on the equalizer from the app. Love it. 
the base that it has on a lower volume and I feel that around 50 to 60% volume is where it sounds best. It has great mids and clear highs but I feel that if you go over 60 to 70% volume the highs take over and it just feels loud and it feels like it has less bass. I did fiddle with the equalizer more and the sound can be improved on a higher volume by setting the treble to minus 2 and the bass to plus 2. The battery on this speaker is advertised at 12 hours which is the same as the Flip 5. Now I don't really listen to music all day so for me it lasts several days but when I occasionally do listen for a full day I would say the battery lasts around the 12 hour mark. There is not too much not to like about it. Design wise I like almost everything except this line right here. While I do like the soft rubbers from the passive radiators, I don't like that it breaks if you drop it from greater heights, but again, that's highly unlikely to happen. I don't like that you have to mess with the equalizer settings to get a better sound over 60% volume. Another weird thing I've had happen is with the party boost. Sometimes I've had a bit of a hard time connecting it with the flip 5, so I had to do some fiddling. Turn it off, on, connect, disconnect, press the party boost button again. Most of the time it works fine though. I don't know, probably they might be able to fix these problems with a software update or it's just me that has these problems. So, should you get a JBL Flip 6? Yes and no. If like me, you upgrade from a Flip 3 or 4, then yes. But if you already have a Flip 5, then you probably shouldn't. It definitely comes with sound and design improvements, so if you are into that, you can still upgrade if you want to. If you don't have a speaker and this is your first one, then I think the JBL Flip 6 offers great value for the money. You get a modern design, awesome sound overall with great bass and of course the equalizer up which can make it sound even better. If you want to save some cash you can get the Flip 5 as well. The Flip 6 is not such a big upgrade over 5 and it will satisfy anybody's sound cravings. As for me I also got the Charge 5 which I'll be doing an unboxing and also a review so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, there's a link in the description below if you're looking for the JBL Flip 6 or 5. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this content and Speaking of the JBL Flip 3, 4 and 5, check out the JBL Flip 6 vs 5 vs 4 vs 3 next.